Hi, I'm Matt Copen from Kramer Electronics Technical Support. Welcome to Kramer's K-Tech video series. Today, we're going to be answering another real-world question that people often ask when they call Kramer Technical Support for help. Namely, how EDID can affect the audio output from a Blu-ray player like the one I have here. The transition from analog to digital took place almost overnight, and even experienced people don't always understand the intricacies of routing digital signals. EDID stands for Extended Display Identification Data. EDID is what enables a personal computer, for instance, to know what kind of display it is connected to. EDID contains the basic information about a display and its capabilities, things like vendor information, native resolution, color characteristics, and factory preset timings. This is what the computer needs to know in order to output the correct signal. It's a one-to-one -one connection, almost like a handshake. Kramer switchers can store EDID for different displays. We're going to be talking today about what happens to the audio in three very different EDID situations when you break that one-to-one -one connection. I have a switcher here with three different EDIDs stored on inputs 4, 5, and 6. Input 4 has Kramer's default EDID. Input 5 has the EDID from a DVI display. And input 6 has the EDID from an Ankyo surround sound receiver. Let's get a movie started on my Blu-ray player. If I plug the Blu-ray player into input 4, change the input on my matrix to input 4, where we've stored the default Kramer EDID, let's see what happens. You hear your audio. You hear your dialogue. The default Kramer EDID specifies two channels of audio. Since our display device accepts two channels of audio, we get perfect sound. Now let's see what happens in our second scenario. I move my cable to input 5. I change the input on my matrix switcher to input 5, where we've stored the DVI EDID. Now DVI EDID does not contain any audio information, so there's nothing to tell the source to output any audio. So what do we hear? Nothing. Let's try a third scenario. I move my cable to input 6. Change the input on my switcher to input 6, where we've stored the EDID from the Ankyo receiver that has surround sound capabilities. That's a multi-channel receiver, but the display only has left and right channels. You hear the background stuff, right? The cows, the crickets, but not the dialogue. The display is two-channel, so it grabs the left and right channels, but throws out the center channel. Guess where all your dialogue is in multi-channel audio? The center channel. We're getting the left and right channels, which are basically just sound effects, just background noise. That's all you're going to get with this EDID. I hope this demonstrates that you have to know where you're getting your EDID and how it affects your end result. If you choose the wrong EDID for your application, you may get the kind of audio problems we've seen here, not to mention the possibility for a number of other issues. And that's your answer. Hopefully now, you'll have the background to effectively troubleshoot audio problems related to EDID. And of course, you can always give us a call at Kramer's Technical Support and we'll help you figure it out. Get more answers by becoming a Kramer Certified Digitalist. For Kramer Electronics, I'm Matt Copen.